Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kevin. My name is Victor. My name is Pete. And we're Transcenders. We create videos about travel, filmmaking, photography. And today, we're gonna show you what camera gear we carry when we travel. This is the bag that I take with me. This is my bag. This is the Tenba bag. I uh, did a little bit of research on this. This could be a video for a later date actually, but this is actually a pretty big bag. First off, we're starting off with the camera body and the lens. We actually all rock a Sony a7 III. Uh, on mine, I actually have the Tamron 28 to 75 on this. It's actually a pretty good running gun style lens. You know, when we're shooting, you can switch in and out between different focal lengths real quick, at different angles. I feel like we use the most footage from the 28 to 75. I feel like we do too. Yeah, because yeah. it's, like, it's like somewhat wide enough and then also tight enough, you know, for us to get the tight V roll shot. So yeah, that's that's actually a really good lens and for the price. It's Definitely really good the price. Yeah. If you only had to take one lens with you, this would probably be the lens. Yeah, for sure, I agree. For the lenses, we all carry different ranges. That way we don't all have like sort of the same range Yeah. as far as like the focal length and stuff like that. So that way we can just switch in and out. Someone can get the tight shot, someone can get the wide shot, someone can get the medium shots. All right, next up for our drones, both of us actually rock the DJI Mavic. I have the DJI Mavic Air, so it's the smaller one. Uh, we mainly use this one to pretty much fly through parts that is pretty hard to get to. Get those like Sam Coder flying through objects and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Only setback or drawback with this drone is that it doesn't fly very well in the wind. So if it's high wind, no, we, we bust out the Mavic Pro. All right, for the mic, I actually use a very budget-friendly one. I bought this one on Amazon. It's called LP Mic One. Uh, it actually does the job pretty well. It's not bad. So, and I think I got it for 30 bucks. And then plus 10 bucks for this little wind reducer right here. But we use this mostly, I actually use this for vlogging and for voiceovers and it's pretty good. Yeah, I saw early on we used it a lot for our first trip, yeah. the uh, P&W. Yeah, yeah. I know that because you were doing a lot of the vlogging. Okay, for action cam. This is my action cam case right here. We just picked up this DJI Osmo action cam. So we've only used this one time. How uh, about it? Like it? We're still, still trying to I'm figure still it out. I didn't even look at it yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cool. Didn't even look at it yet. But we used this on a recent snowboarding trip. Haven't looked at any of the footage yet. Haven't seen how good the rock steady is. But um, hopefully we get to use this a lot more for different, different angles. Sick angles, dude. Yeah. And then I just got a bunch of accessories on here. I got a head mount, a suction cup mount, and this all goes into this kit that I probably need to figure out before. All right, I got this other pouch right here. This is called the Pro Case. Got this on Amazon as well. By the way, everything will probably link in the bottom of this video too as well for each one of our In the description. Yeah. But this thing, Pretty much all I really have in here is just all my cables. Well, I have more cables than that, but different mounts, um, chargers, batteries, camera batteries, camera chargers. So everything goes in here nice and tidy. Actually, I actually have more stuff. I don't know where that all is. <laughs> I always lose all my gear. We just got back from recent trips. All right, next up, I got this filter case right here. Nothing special about that. Just keeps all different filters in here, different UV filters that we use. ND filters that we use. We got two sets of filters, both from newer, 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 newer. Um, pretty good, low budget actually uh, filters. But one ND set from the DJI Osmo, one ND set for the DJI Mavic. All right, now memory cards. I got this case for the memory cards. Oh, gotta have extra. <laughs> it's supposed to be waterproof. Haven't tested it out, but got an assortment of memory cards in here. Can't have too much, especially when we're shooting. Traveling, we don't want to dump out our memory cards, or especially when we shoot weddings as well. So, uh, actually, yeah, I have more than this. It's just laying around somewhere on my desk. All right, so probably one of the most useful gears that we have are these walkie-talkies right here. Uh, these are very useful when we're kind of trying to get a different shot from the distance, um, or especially when we're getting shots for somebody's in the car and somebody's outside of it, and we're trying to tell them to pull up or something. We just be like, "Hey, Victor, pull up the car, please. Thank you." All right, that's nice. Go. Yeah, super useful. Because a lot of times we shoot people off in the distance and stuff, and 
if they need to move, they stand somewhere else and stuff like that. We can just tell them things without having to run over there and yell at them and stuff like that. All right, now as far as the little accessories, uh, we carry, I carry this with me on every trip. Um, it's just a little charging port that I got from Amazon. It has two USB ports so we can charge different things and then two... That's the three prong. That's the three prong. Three prong ports. Um, so I can charge a lot of things. And you carry all this in your like camera bag? I really do, dude. Yeah. This is a little just Choby. Jo Choby. <laughs> this Joby tripod. Um, Pretty handy little gear, but sometimes we just put a camera on there and just set it on the table and stuff like that. So or like time lapse. Time lapse. That's just what we used it for. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Pretty, it was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, so pretty useful little thing. It's not too expensive. Either. So for any shoots that we shoot in the dark or we're adventuring in the dark, uh, another good piece of gear to have is these little headlights right here. Um, this has pretty much saved our day a lot of times when we can't see anything. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, pretty, pretty useful gear. All right, last thing for me, uh, I got this JBL clip. We use this when we're hiking or snowboarding. We can just jam on the tunes. Uh, it's always nice to like when you're shooting like station shot or like you're doing photos and stuff with people and getting them to like get comfortable. Yeah, you know, like yep, yep. playing music and stuff and they just get in the zone. Mm -hmm. People always look better and stuff when they're relaxed. And then some Bluetooth headphones noise canceling for the plane ride. So you can just block out all that noise, you know what I'm saying? It's a must. Yeah. What'd you say? What? Say something? Done. That's it, guys. <laughs> I'm done. All right, next up is my bag. This is the Low Pro 450 AW. Not the newest one, but the old one. Series one, and it's, uh, it's been through a lot. Yeah, to be honest, the only thing, I really love this bag. Uh, it's like it has a hard top. The only thing I would say is the straps. It's pretty thin, so if you need, you got like shoulder problems and stuff like that, and you need padded stuff, I would suggest either adding some padded stuff or getting the new one. I know they upgraded the pads on the new ones. Yeah, let's go. So first up, I would normally grab my camera, but it's recording. So again, like PD said, we use the A7 III. On the a7 III, which is on the camera right now as well, is the 16 to 35 G Master uh, 2.8. So, like we mentioned earlier, we all carry different focal lengths ranges, so that way we don't have to carry. You know, all three of us have a 16 to 35. All three of us have the 24 to 70 or 28 to 75. In this case, with the Tamron, we all just have the separate ranges, so that way we can switch back and forth and then be lightweight and be able to carry other things in our camera bag. All right, I also carry the 85 1.8 lens, and that's really good for B-roll, as far as like, because it's like wide open 1.8 versus the other one we have like 2.8. That's pretty um, sharp lens too. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. And it's really good in low light, just because 1.8 shoot wide open for the nice shots. And the last lens that I carry with me is the F1.8, Zeiss Sony 55mm as well. Again, for low light, it's really good. Uh, with that, I also carry with me this Mikey from Amazon that we got. Um, it's a basically lens adapter to turn the any lens really into a mac macro lens for any of those like super tight shots. It's actually pretty useful and get some pretty good stuff with this. Yeah. Like it's yeah. a different like style. Yeah, you know, definitely. Different type of shot. Um, it works really well with the 55, not so much with the 85. So if you decide getting this, I think it's like 15, 20 bucks on the end. It's pretty cheap. But yeah, just to turn it, any of your lens into a macro. And then next up, we're gonna talk about the other cam. So I carry a GoPro Hero 8 with me. Uh, previously the Hero 5 just upgraded, so I haven't really gotten to use this yet, but we did in Joshua Tree. We did. Yeah, we did that, a car yes. time lapse. That was pretty sick. Yeah. It was pretty good. But yeah, and then this is just a mouth mount, so you can hold like do a first POV type shot. I don't know how anybody can use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't use I it. can't use that. Really? Yeah. I like it. I, I mean, it's just like holding you. a mouthpiece when you play football, they can carry a mouthpiece. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking about it's been in your mouth. I yeah, I can't. <laughs> oh, from my mouth? Oh, yeah, only I use that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, like, I if I have my own, I can't. Yeah. 
weird. Next up is all my filters that I carry for all the different cameras and stuff that we have. Uh, first up, we can talk about the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon edition. Most every YouTuber, but it's it's expensive. This thing is pricey. I'll tell you that. But you ever notice when you use other variable energy filters, you get that kind of like X when you go too high and stuff, and you don't have that issue with this. It's a two. I got the two to five stop, and it helps save so much of our footage, especially when you travel and stuff and you're out during the day with the sun. Um, you're able to keep it wide open and have the footage still look very cinematic and stuff. So this thing is worth the investment. You can probably make it via filters. Yeah, yeah, we can. I didn't want to buy another size filter for my other lenses and stuff. So what I carry with me are step up rings. And what it does is it allows me to use size filter on a lens with a smaller filter ring size. And last, I, I, have, I do have a variable ND filter for the 55. Just because it's so small, I didn't want to step down all the way. Because it looks funny and a lot more stuff around that I have to carry. Last but not least is the Mavic Pro 2 filter, ND filters from Polar Pro as well. Um, these are very helpful. So this is the drone, like Petey said. We carry two drones with us. One is the Mavic Air. In high winds and stuff, or we want to get more like wider landscape type shots and stuff, we can use the Mavic 2 Pro. Before we had the Mavic, and that thing actually crashed and rest broke us. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace. So, <laughs> so ended up just upgrading to the Mavic 2 Pro. Next up, I'm gonna do this little pouch that I carry with me. Um, it's like an accessory pouch, basically like an army switch mount. It has a bunch of little knickknacks and stuff that. I need it when I'm on the go. You can see a bunch of like wires, a little flashlight, and this tool, oh my god, this tool is the Swiss Army knife for all camera filmmakers, photographers. It's, it, it's the small rig and it has all the different size hex tools that you need to open any of like our mounts, um, cage rigs and stuff like that. It has a screwdriver, flathead, um, and you know how those Adapters always have that like little ring or little like coin. You always have to like carry a coin or something yes. with you. It actually has something specific yeah, for that, man. But, yep, I carry a quarter. Yeah. I carry a quarter in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> the next up are these wired ear pods uh, from Apple. It's just very easy to use and useful for when you're wanting to check the audio for our vlogging and stuff like that, just to make sure the audio works. Because sometimes we get like static or if the mic's not plugged in another way, we can tell right away once we have this in. <clears throat> so that's really useful or if the mic's not on and stuff like that. All right, next up I carry this mini light to put on the camera. It's the Aperture ALM9. This thing is it's pretty small and portable and it's really nice to have when you need like doing vlogging at night and stuff like that. We need a little more light, this helps out a lot. All right, next up is this little accessories pouch that I carry. You always want to carry it with you when you're traveling, especially a like cleaning kit. Because yes. we ran into issues where we had dust specks on yeah. our freaking lens and footage, <laughs> and we didn't know. This was our first trip. We were shooting like the first quarter of the trip, noticing that the little dust speck, man, and that was terrible. Um, luckily, Victor, there was like the setting inside the camera and stuff that you were even like shake off. Yes. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, we heard about that, but it, it, it helped a little bit. Yeah, it helped a little bit. It just moved. But yeah, so some of the main things to carry is a little blower. Uh, just to blow any of the dust and stuff because when you're switching out lenses or like when you're traveling there's dust everywhere You know, um, it's like a brush that can brush off some dust and stuff like that on your lens if, the, if blowing it won't come off if it's stuck on there And then also have this little tool thing which helps take off the filter on the Mavic Pro 2 And then a cleaning cloth of course always and you know it just all goes in this pouch And not least are just the batteries, I always carry Two extra batteries for the Mavic Pro, just because they only last about like 17 to 20 minutes. And then batteries. Have you ever had an issue with this in the airport? No. Yeah. Oh, it's great. And then last but not least is this uh, capture clip from Peak Designs. Super useful when you're hiking and stuff like that. Um, instead of putting your camera back up in the bag when you're done shooting each time, I just attach it to my camera strap right here and then I have my camera just hang right there so I can take it on and off just so I never miss the moment. Last but not least, 
almost forgot, is the gimbal that we carry with us. Ooh. Normally just strap this on the outside of the backpack in the front. We got these straps right here. Okay, with us. But it's the Ronin S and this thing is a workhorse. It's heavy, but that means it's heavy duty. So we use this stuff to get any like running, we want to get like smooth running shots and stuff like that in the car of us running and all of the above. But yeah, this thing has been through a lot, you can tell. It has all these scratch marks and stuff like that, but one charge will last you the whole trip. It's like three days, three, four days. So you don't need to carry extra batteries or anything with you or really even charge it. That's I can't confirm nor deny, but I think that sprained my elbow for about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to the doctor. Heavy, heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, you gotta... Next up, we got Victor. What up, guys? Next up, what's in my bag? Okay, first up, this backpack is the Mono Price Backpack. I bought this like a while, a while, while back, maybe like five, six, seven years. So it's a pretty old backpack. It's very beat up, it's stretched. It has a lot of wear and tear on it, but definitely, definitely, I need an upgrade on my bag so I can do that really soon. Um, first thing I do want to mention, I, I, I do carry my laptop with me. The reason why I do carry my laptop is because sometimes when I get a chance, when we're in the car, when we're traveling, I can sit back there and edit, do some photos and videos, but to be honest, it doesn't rarely happen. <coughs> because I do get car sick. So I do bring um, an iPad with me, and this is just really if we're traveling like on an airplane, uh, stuff like that, and I just watch my TV show video. It has really nothing to do with my bag bag. Like, I mean, I do bring my bag, but it's, it's nothing I use for photography. All right, up next, you guys. Inside my bag, the camera I, I use is the Sony a7 III, uh, but I carry it all in here. Yes, I literally carry a bag inside a bag. Why? I've actually downgraded uh, on a lot of my gears just because again, like uh, Kevin has a bunch of gears and lenses and drones that he that he uses and his PA does as well. So I really saw that, hey, I'm just, just, I'm just gonna go lightweight and I'm just gonna travel with the essential. So that's good. Cause sometimes when we travel and stuff like hiking and stuff yeah. like that, it can be a toll and you have to carry a lot of gear. Definitely, I think, and I think our first trip when we went to PNW, like we all had our own um, well, we all brought a tripod, we all brought our own gimbal, we all brought, you know, this, the same thing. And essentially it was just like, dude, we're carrying so much things with us. We so much weight that we didn't even use. We only used one gimbal all the whole time. We only, used, like, one, we only had one drone at the time. So this is the Hex bag that I use. And it's actually the Tex Ranger DSLR slip bag. I would have my Sony a7 III. And how I packed it is kind of, <laughs> Like I said, it's going very essential, and I usually carry this Canon lens. Why do I have this Canon lens? Um, it's great for photography. This is actually the only lens that I was using like throughout this whole trip, and there was a lot of a lot of uh, challenges <laughs> with this. How do you how do you use that with your Sony? So in order for me to use this with my Sony, um, I have to use an adapter, and this is the uh, Sigma MC11. It converts from a Canon EF lens to a Sony E lens, and I use that just to, uh, to to mount to my camera. So if anybody has Canon lenses and they want to use Sony, so correct, then yeah. they can keep the same glass. Yes, they can use the same glass. Um, again, I didn't know what to do with it, and I just said I just wanted to keep it. And you put two lenses in the bag and your camera. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Next, I have this. Um, I spoke on it earlier. This is my newest lens that I bought that I purchased. Uh, for a great price, it's the 1728 2.8 Tamron lens for what I like to do. And it's like a lot of vlogging, um, a lot of wide shots, landscape shots, um, and yeah, just wide angle photography. I actually can't wait to use this a little bit more. I, I just love wide angle shots. I, I really like the fish eyes, so that's it's like for like, travel. Yeah, Why really? Just to capture the thing. landscape and stuff. And this is a lens filter that I have on it. It's actually Kevin's, because I don't have a lens filter for it. I do have a few essential things, just like a battery. Um, I picked this up a while back and it's a uh, Pro ND filter. So it's really cool, again, like when things are blowing out. I still haven't used it yet, uh, to be quite honest with you. But I mean, you know, when it's 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, the sun is just blowing out all our images. So this will definitely help it out. 
just cables and two things I carry with me as far as accessory. It's literally this memory card bag. So it's just a little simple um, card bag that I got again like maybe four or five years ago. And I have a bunch of cards in here, you know, ranging from 120 gigabytes to 64 and 32. And last we have no, no. And then the next is just a clean cloth. That's it. So that is essentially what I have in my bag. I have very, very light. Nothing else. It's very light. It's very useful. So these other guys are carrying the heavy stuff. That, you know, yeah. Wait, didn't you just get something new though? I'm upgrading my bag, but we do have a surprise. I'm also upgrading a lens. And it's the 70 to 200, Still baby. In the box and everything. Still in the box. It's a brand new, man. Bro. It actually came in yesterday. <laughs> hey, you like unbox it. All right. So this, I guess we could just like a little unboxing, right? No, 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 no. Save it. Teaser. Oh, I like it. Okay, guys. So this concludes uh, this video of what's in our camera bag 2020. You. Yep. Hope you guys all got a glimpse of what's in our camera bag, each one of our camera bags, and what we carry in all of our travels. Um, link is going to be in the description of all of our camera gear. We also set up a media kit on Kit.co as well. So please like this video if you haven't already. It helps a lot. And subscribe to our journey. Uh, until next week's video, we'll catch you next time. Transcenders out. Peace.